Welcome back to the basement yard, bitch. What was that? What? I don't know. Whatever that was, it was like a motion, a hand motion. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying out like new hand stuff. I want to. I want to be like cooler you're, with my hands. You're trying out new hand stuff. Yeah. What the fuck does that mean? Like, 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 like cool stuff with my hands. You try. No. What do you mean? I mean, like, just signs. I can't tell if you're joking. I'm not. You've been trying out new hand stuff. Yeah, like I feel like like I'm not cool enough with my hands, like to be like, you know what I'm saying? Who is cool with their hands? A lot of people. Who? Rappers. Who's, who is the, who is this guy? Shooter McGavin. No, 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 oh, no. Shooter McGavin. Very cool with his hands. No, who's the guy? Fez? Oh no, the Fuzz. What's his name? Fonz. Fonz. Hey. The Fuzz. The what fuzz. am I talking about? Those are the cops. Yeah. What am I talking? The Fuzz. The Fuzz. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Hey. Yeah, that. Yeah. But I'm trying to get like a, a a hand thing going. Yeah, like a couple barrel rolls and like a to the double guns. I'm gonna. I, you think you should retire it right now? I think it's kind of ridiculous. All right, one more time then. That was terrible. Damn. I'm not liking it. What do you got? I ha I don't know. I didn't know this was a thing. Let until me now. see. Let me see the coolest hand thing you could do just off on the cuff right now. Off the cuff. Off, I'll, off the I'll it or on it. Yeah, that was pretty cool. You like that shit? Yeah, fuck. <laughs> We're a couple of morons, I swear to God. New mics. New mics. Got new mics. Uh, shout out to the the Patreon. Uh, we're getting a lot of support from people uh, this month, and we're able to buy some new mics here. These yep. are the same mics that uh, the podcast god Joe Rogan uses. Yep. So y'all did this. Y'all y'all can have that. Y'all did this. Y'all can have that. Exactly. You can't have these though. Uh, yeah, no, these these were keeping. We just got them. Yeah, we just got them. Um, but uh, yeah, our Patreon. Uh, if you want to support the show, you can head to patreoncom slash yard. We actually just revamped what the tiers are, so I could kind of explain it. I haven't done that in a while. Tell them about the tiers. We should do that more often. That was dope. Yeah, right. Yeah, that was cool. Tell um, them about those. Tell them about those tiers. All right, the first tier is the smoky tier. Smoky tier, babe. Uh, it's five dollars. You get access to every episode a week early, uh, and you also get bonus content, which is bi-weekly segment that me and Danny do called "What the Fuck Does Patreon Want," where we answer the questions that you guys sent in. So if you ever want us to talk about something, you send us a question, we answer that shit, and they're usually like twenty minutes long. Um, the next is the Super Smoky tier. Super Smoky, yeah. <laughs> That's great. So you get the obviously the episode and the the what the fuck does patreon want segment and you also get a bonus episode of the basement yard every month that can only be seen by our patrons so we do an episode a regular episode just like this mm -hmm. it goes on the patreon you only, know what i mean only could see it if you are a patron so you have like 19 different voices in there don't you yeah all right the next one is the fire tier fire whoa that was hot um, where on this one, you get everything that I already talked about before on the other tiers. And you also get an on-air shout out from me and Danny at the end of the basement yard. So we would just go through this tier and then we'll just kind of give everyone a shout out. Thank you for supporting the show. And the last one is called, Oh, a hundred percent. Oh, 100%. <laughs> um, on this one, you get a personalized video shout out from me and Danny sent to your email. So we just recorded a bunch of them. They're like two minutes long. We'll and they're just fun. Fuck around. Yeah, they're fun. It's not like, hey, what's up? Hey, man. Up? Love you, man. Good. See you. Peace. Uh, yeah. Thanks for the money. Bye. Yeah. We peace. Say, we say your name. We try to figure out your backstory. Yeah. We Googled someone. We're like, yo, who the fuck are you? And then we Googled them and it was some like model who was like really hot. Like, yeah. But he was peeling off his face. Yeah. And we're like, yo, is this you? Yeah. I hope so. Yeah, maybe. Slide in my DMs. <laughs> Danny's trying to experiment. I'm, I he would looked, you? Would you ever? No. Do you, do you think, no, I would not. <laughs> if you went to high, if you went to college, I feel like a lot of experimenting happens in college. Do you think that you would ever experiment? Dude, this isn't the '80s. What hippies? Where they I'm do not LSD. saying that you would do dudes. Dude, I'm saying like experiment like, like, with what? Like orgies and stuff. You're trying to get me to to like rub elbows with a guy who's fucking a girl. A little bit. And then that's a gateway drug to like, whoa, let me just. Pat him on the on the ass. Yeah. And then it's it turns into you're inside. Whoa. Yes. Those are the steps. I didn't know that. Yeah. Who would be more experimental, you or me? Than, you. No way. What are you talking about? You are. Probably. <laughs> you're asking me all these questions. Like you're trying to like, all right, what if you were at college? As if there's like orgies going on at every college. Let me ask you this. If you were financially stable, 
by lo- was that a fart? No, no, that was my oh. my, my slippers oh, on the okay. ground. <laughs> oh, I was like, damn, man. Now nah, we're good. Up. We're good. If you were f- like financial, like super financially stable by forty, yeah, and you like didn't have to work, like everything you could do, you could do from home. Okay. Like, like is this, right is this somehow going to turn into me having sex with a guy? No sex, no sex. Okay. Would you go ever go back to college? Like, like full time, like be a full time, like college live student? in a dorm? Yeah. No, I'm forty. I look like an idiot. No. Yeah. You ever have a? Did you, I went to a community college, so there would be like sixty year olds in my class. Yeah, but that's different. Like you could be a teacher, and it's like, oh, if I get this fucking degree, then I get an extra five thousand dollars on my salary. Is that how it works? Yeah, I never do that. Like you get your masters and stuff. Oh, you get more qualifications. Well, so would you go back to college, but like live off campus? Uh, I've thought about it. Honestly, I miss learning. I haven't learned in a while. I haven't learned in a long time. Learned. Yeah. Whoa. You added the learned? T there. Learned. Learned? I haven't learned. How about learned being a word? I hate that. Learned isn't a word. A learned professor or whatever. That's a word? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Wait, Wait a second. Oh, no, I don't want to check. I'm scared no, now. No, no, no. No, but I'm saying, I'm pretty sure that's like learned is a word. I learned. It's not learned. It, yes, it is. No, no, no. It, it is learned. I'm saying they don't use it in that sense. <laughs> oh, okay. Like you are a learned something. I'm a learned professor, you said. We're fucking dumb. I know. Let's get that out of the way. But learned is a word. Learned is obviously a word. Yeah. Yeah, I learned that. Thing. I learned good. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, boy. We're going to need to do some, some work with you, buddy. I hate, I hate. Remember uh, you and you and me, with you and I. You and I both love. That's great. Remember that song? Yeah. Who's that by? No idea. Somebody <sighs> white. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. Not sixpence. Who sixpence? I don't know what. Does six that kiss pe- me? Yeah, I don't know what sixpence. None the richer is. Yeah. What is that? Is a Robin Hood sequel. But I did. You know, she says, "Kiss me out of the bearded barley." Yeah. Apparently that's kiss her vagina. She's got a bearded barley. Yeah, she's got a bearded bearded bar. That's not what that means. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Kiss me out of the bearded barley, and then type vagina, and I guarantee you will be talking about eating her snoo snoo. Bearded barley vagina. Am I right or am I wrong? The first thing that pops up. Uh, <laughs> two things. <laughs> The two Google searches that pop up. The first one is Urban Dictionary. Okay. And it just says vagina beard. Bearded barley. Yeah, but a barley isn't a... Oh, no. I spelled barley wrong. I miss. I missed some, it, it, some You letters. misspelled some barley. Um, I think it's... Wow, a, it is. Yeah, see? It's about eating her snoo snoo. Her snoo snoo? Yeah, tickling her snoo snoo. Her vajon john? For John John. Kiss me out of the bearded barley. Always taking the terms bearded barley, flowered hat, broken tree house. Broken tree house? Out at the broken tree house. Swing, swing. But can a vagina be a broken tree house? I don't know. I'm going to look at it next time. And, and, and like Google image a broken tree house and see what it looks like. Well, why would a broken tree house resemble a vagina? Did we ask this question on here yet? What? If you'd rather be... Kissed under the milky twilight or out on the moonlit oh, floor? Oh, what's more romantic? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. What, what, what was it? Sorry, the lyric. Uh, get kissed out on the moonlit floor or... Out under, on the moonlit floor. Or under the milky twilight. I'm, I'm all about the twilight. I'm all about the twilight too, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, I think that's what we both said. the moonlit dance floor? Yeah. That's dope. What do you think is like a perfect date? Like a, like uh like an anniversary date. Say you had your tenth anniversary with someone. Okay. What would you do? What would what would, what would be the perfect date? Are you asking me like to direct a movie? Or are you asking me like r- realistically? Realistically, what like ten year marriage anniversary. What what's your what's your? But it's your... not going to be as cool as my other answer. All right, so do a pretend one and then a real one. I don't want to do both. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um. I don't know, man. A moonlit floor. Yeah, it's fucking sexy, dude. You know what's sexy? What? When people have weddings outside and the dance floor is just like in the middle of like someone's lawn. Yeah, like a field. And it's like, yo, there's there's like grass, 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 dance floor. Yeah. And then the moon's out. Hot. Fucking champagne's going. I like that. God, that's I like so every part dope. of it. Yeah, right? I like that. Maybe yeah. that would be it. Yeah, maybe. But yeah. that's not really an anniversary. That's a wedding. Would you ever hire somebody to come like sing to, to like your dinner table? What? You know, like they'll have people like come over like... 
Happy birthday to you. Well, they like, do that at like restaurants, a, yeah, and they bring like have, a tartufo over. Do you do you do that to people? Uh, or are you the guy that goes, "Hey man, gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Be right back." And then it's like they come out, and you're like, "I got him, you fucking loser! I didn't pee." Yeah. <laughs> you thought I peed? You were dead wrong. You are a dumb idiot. Yeah, no, um, no, I'm not that guy. I don't like those. No, I mean I don't mind them. Like people, like they think it's so funny because they find it embarrassing. Like I'm not embarrassed. It's my birthday. Yeah. I now, also now, do think it's funny though to fake it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've, I've done, done that, that a couple times. You know what? We've done that to Keith because Keith obviously like he's not he doesn't like attention. Oh yeah. Like that. So like at Hooters they make such a big deal about people's birthdays. Like bring them up in front of the whole restaurant with the two girls and like they're singing and like doing whatever. Wasn't his birthday. We we're just like it's his birthday. Dude, and then I- he's sitting there like this, and then like they're like, come on, come on, hey! And he's just like. He was eating a piece of chicken, threw it on the plate, and then just got up reluctantly. <laughs> it was so funny. I haven't been to a Hooters in years. I would say 12 years. No, no, no. That's a lie. I have. I went there maybe three years ago. We should do 2019. We should do Hooters. What's so and, Hooters isn't even great. And medieval, they don't even got medieval, the big tits anymore. Medieval times. Medieval times. Now we're talking. Let's do medieval times this year and yes. vlog the shit out of it. Yes. They don't get, you know, they don't give you a... Utensils. utensils no you have to eat it with your hands and it's like a trough it's a what it's like a ladle trough it's like the soup comes with like a handle and you got to slurp it oh yeah yeah that's kind of weird but it's they give you weird. like mashed potatoes and you gotta like yeah it's awesome i kind of like that yeah yeah we'll do medieval times this year probably like a bunch of degenerates too because you know how you have like a night that you're assigned to by the way for people who don't know what we're talking about Medieval Times is this place that we went to when we were kids. Mm-hmm. Where it's, it, it is for kids, but we'd be going as adults now. But you go, and there's like a jousting match between these like knights, and like the kids are in the crowd, and they give you crowns, and like you could buy a fake shield and a yeah. sword. And you sit probably in a color, not anymore. You sit you know, in a colored section. You sit in a colored section. Ew, that sounded yeah very racist. Like not at all. Stuff. No. Yeah, I know. We should do. I know. It's like red, blue, gray. <laughs> like that was very weird. But uh, I think there is a Black Knight though. <laughs> yeah, Mar- Martin uh, Martin Lawrence. Yeah, that was a good movie. Great movie. Love that movie. Great. Underrated. Great jersey he wears in that. Oh Just hell a yeah! Regular generic green jersey. Love it. Great. So you sit in a section. It's like all right, you're the Green Knights section. So you root for the Green Knight, and they give you food, but they don't give you like like knives and forks. You just eat it with your hands. Yep. Because it's up. just fucking. That's it. Yeah, but we want to go because it's just like, why not? I would We'd go- be betting heavily, though. Absolutely. I bet you I have like literally $350 on the screen night. Yeah, I would just bet for sure. All. Remember we went to bingo and we just were betting everything? Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. It's like these people are trying to have a good time. That one girl kept, there was this one girl that kept winning uh, at bingo, you remember? To yeah. the point, and then, but multiple people would win. So they would do rock, paper, scissor to find out who actually won bingo. So we were just started making bets with this chick. And I, I remember I put like $50. I'm like, yeah, I got $50 that she's going to win this like rock, paper, scissor right now. And then before they went, I just like walked up to her and I, in front of everyone. I was just like, yo, I got a lot of money riding on this. So like, let's go. And she just, I thought she would laugh, but she just looked at me like, and I was like, all right. And then you remember how I won all my money back. You won bingo. And I beat her in rock, paper, scissors. Did you really? Yeah. But the trick that you taught me. Always throw rock. Always throw rock. I looked at you. You were like, Mr. Miyagi. You were like, throw the rock. <laughs> and I was just like, I was like, I'm going to do it. It's like that scene, like, you know, in Mighty Ducks, when, when a fucking. Tells him to cut himself. No, but, no. What? Doesn't he say like fake that your eyes cut in Mighty Ducks? No. Yes, he does. What are you talking about? In the first Mighty Ducks. Oh, that one. I just, yeah. I don't even acknowledge. Oh, okay. It's, it's disgusting. Like the, it's like I hate, one, I hate Mighty Ducks one. But, uh, in one of the movies, like Adam Banks is like taking like a fucking, uh, a penalty shot, and he looks over at the, at the the bench, and everyone just one by one, just giving the old nod. I mean, let's go. Sometimes all you need is just a good nod. Just a good nod. Look back at someone, they're like, yeah. I remember I used to like play football, and like I would always look for my dad in the stands. So like, if I did something good, he'd just be like, I'd just be like, that's amazing. Thank you so much. No, but the thing, I, the reason why I brought up uh, floated. Yeah, floated. <laughs> Great film. What was that rookie of the year? Yeah. Mom, it was you. Yeah. 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 It was me. It was me. It's floating. Kevin's been traded to the Yankees. What the fuck's going on? 
What's this, Grand Theft Auto? What do we got going on? Go, we're going to show here, for I God's know. sakes. I know. This is disgusting. It ruined my whole heaven. The, uh, Henry just got traded to the Yankees bit and everything. Yeah. God damn it. It's all right. Remember when you can't get the thing on the piano? What? When he's doing the Pepsi commercial? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just lost what I was going to say. Uh, now I know. Uh, because of the birthday candles. As you know, my birthday is in four days. Oh, yeah, that's right. So by the time this comes out, I will be a 30-year-old man. man. Dan's going to be a 30-year-old man. Yeah. What does that mean? I feel like that's the turning point, honestly. When you turn 30, everything slows down a bit. Um, If you would have asked me a year ago if I was excited to turn 30, I would have told you to get the fuck out of my face. Right. I'm actually excited to turn 30. Wow. Yeah. I'm not. And it's, it's, it's weird, but like... I remember being 15 and being like, wow, I'm halfway to 30. Yeah. Like I said, I remember saying that to myself. And now you're there. And now I'm there. Yeah. And now I'm going to be halfway to 60. Dude. That's fucking bugged out. Yeah. Dude, I'm going to, on January 30th, I will have walked the earth for 30 years. Not a whole lot of walking, but. No. Well, the first, how long does it take to walk? No, I mean, like, in general. I, know, I walk every day. I don't know, but, you know. Got to get here somehow. Yeah, it's, you know. You, you a couple steps a, out the door to get to the Uber. Yeah, it's a lot of Ubers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know. Uber saved my life, I think. <laughs> if anything. But, yeah, man, yeah. fucking turning 30. Jeez. Are you having, like, are you going to. Yo, at what age do you stop putting as many candles as your age on, uh, the, on the cake? You know, because at a certain point, it's a fire hazard. I would say 18. 18, 18, 18 candles is a lot of candles. Like 16, you gotta, you gotta go 16, to the two maybe? numbered candles. You know? Yeah. Like oh, two, three, or whatever. You know? Yeah. You can't put twenty three candles on a fucking cake. Like I'll be honest with you, I, I would say anything over fifteen is a, is a fire hazard, and you're running out of cake space. I go twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Thirteen. A baker's dozen is too much for me. Also, trick candles. Stupid. Stupid. All right. You know, yo, some people have stupid birthday rituals. Yeah, and what's up with the smashing people's face? That's the one I'm talking about. It's like, oh, yo, we're going to get them. You smash your friend's face in their cake? Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, great birthday for Hilarious, me. Hilarious, dude. Now I have to wash my whole face? Yeah, my whole face? Fucking ass. <laughs> yo, it's ridiculous. People are such douchebags that do that. And I like ice cream cake. You smash my face in that, I might get a concussion. Yeah. Because that's hard. Did they do that? I think there's like a video. Yes. And a girl's just out. Out cold. in her cake. Because like they like missed it. it. Like it hit the table like part of the no, table. No, I think the cake was just so soft that she went right through the cake and got smashed on the table and was just out. So dumb. It was great. What's dumber? That or gender reveals? <sighs> that. It's it's dumb. Gender reveals. You can hurt someone. Gender reveals actually have a purpose, even though they're like... So blown out of proportion. It's like, I deadlift sometimes, so let's put the balloon underneath 315, and I'm going <laughs> to drop the weight on it. <laughs> like, why are we doing this? Whatever chalk I use on my callous hands is going to be what baby I'm having. <laughs> oh, it's a boy, yeah! Some of them are so dumb, yo. You ever see the ones where it's like, oh, yo, I play baseball, so let's do baseball. They throw the ball, the guy misses, it hits the floor. <laughs> Blue, it's a ball, you fucking moron. Yeah, that's like setting up your kid for failure right there. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> how'd you find out I was a boy? I uh, struck out. Yeah. I swung and missed. I swung and missed and dropped you on the floor, basically. Exactly. Yeah, no. Not, not a good start. Is it weird that I'm not having a, par- a party for my 30th birthday? No, I think, I think you're past the party. I think when you get 40, you have a party. Yeah. Because at that point... You'd most likely have kids, and you'd be, you know, married to the point where now you're starting to resent your wife and question all your decisions. Yeah. And it's like, I need a time to go out and really just let it all out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let the last 10 years of my life out tonight. Yeah, because I'll be honest with you, I'll probably cry on my birthday. And here's why. Here's why. Here's why. For some reason... I don't know. Because it's my golden birthday. What does that mean? It means I'm turning 30 on 30. Ah. So it's like supposed to be like the, nice. best, like the best birthday of my life. Okay. It's what a, it, when I turned 25, nothing happened. All right, go ahead. No, you made a lot of money. Not on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be on your birthday. You said it was my That golden. year. Oh, that's your golden year? Yeah, it's your golden year. All right. 
So yeah, my, I mean, yeah, it was a good I think. I think it was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, no, yeah, it was. It was like, all right. No, no, was, no, actually, it was a great year. Yeah, see, it look. So you yeah, had, it was. Yeah, so you had a golden birthday. Uh, it you works had, out. You had a golden year. Yeah. But um, I don't know. It, it hasn't hit me yet that I'm going to be 30. I really don't look at age like that because I don't, I don't think people look at me as 30. I don't look at you as 30. You know? So it's yeah. like, I don't feel 30. I feel 50. <laughs> but uh, no, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be weird to know that I'm 30 years old. Because I'm the youngest. Like, you know. In your family. Yeah. It's me and my sister. Right. We're the same age, though. So it's like. Everyone is so grown up. Mm-hmm. That's the craziest part. It's like, wow, everyone's 30. <laughs> That's fucking bugged out, I dude. I feel 50. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. My dad used to say that. He goes, I'm 60. I feel seven. He goes, I'm, I'm 60. I feel 70. And I look like I died last year. <laughs> <laughs> That's him. Yeah. That definitely sounds like My dad like him. to a T. Yeah. I don't know. You think you'll, you, you think you got some time before you're 30. Yeah. Well, I have three years, basically. I turn 27. You have a thousand days. A little over a thousand more days to your, till 30. Yeah. That's cool. But when you put it in days, it doesn't seem like a long time. When you put it into months, it's even shorter. When you're like, yo, 36 months from now. I never thought of it like that. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, seem yeah like... that's, that's, that's interesting, actually. Yeah. <sighs> dude, January's like over, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's kind of just crazy, like, how fast the year ends up going. I know. And for whatever reason, it just seems like time is moving, like, faster. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if that's true. Dude, last year went so fast. No, I didn't think so. I thought it was a year. <laughs> it felt like a year. It did? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe because I like, I don't know. I started something new. Maybe it started like like a different feeling for me, maybe. Like, because I like started working here. Yeah. So like, I had like more like, it's it's so crazy if, I, if you look at it weekly, like the episodes, like I counted them. I was like, damn, dude, we've made mad episodes yeah and you did mad episodes before i got here yeah it's fucking crazy do you know what's crazy like i'm a psycho i used to do this <laughs> by myself that I, I when i first started working here i i, I went back to listen to the ep- just to kind of get the feel of the show yeah and like your voice kind of and what i can bounce off of shit like that and i was like yo this kid is doing this by himself this kid is nuts <laughs> crazy dude I used to do full episodes that were like 48 minutes long. No, but that's me. That's admirable, though, because not a lot of fucking people can do that. No, it's really hard. And there have been times, especially in the beginning, where I had to just like (laughs) either pause it or I'd just be like, I'd do 15 minutes and be like, that was fucking awful. And I would just erase it and start over from zero. It's just weird to know that you're talking to yourself, but but eventually it's going to go out to other people. Yeah, but the process is you just speaking to yourself. It's it's like an improv exercise, kind of. You like yeah. have to keep coming up with funny stuff, and you have to have something to talk about. I know it's hard. But it's like I've always like I think Bill Burr does his by himself. Yeah, like I admire the shit out of that. Yeah, but you have to be a fucking psycho, man. Yeah, you gotta be. And a he's definitely and he's definitely a psycho. Oh yeah, and he knows that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I know that. He knows that. We all know that. We all know that. We all know that. Uh, sorry, no, try, no, 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 I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. It's, it's, Please it's, retire. Then. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, yo, I don't know why I just, I'm bringing this up right now, but was it you who I was talking to who asked me if I believe if we landed on the moon? Yeah, it was me. That was you, right? Yeah, and we both don't believe it. Yeah, I don't believe we landed on the moon. No. I'm not a conspiracy guy. I just don't think we went to the moon. No, because here's why. That would make me a conspiracy guy, I guess, but... Why have we not gone back and, like, had a whole thing, like, that you could watch on fucking Periscope or something? Yeah. Like, I I think we've gone to space, but it took us time to get to space. Uh Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Okay. But, like, why have we not gone to the moon if they said that... The computer we literally have in there mm-hmm. was more powerful than the fucking computer that sent the rockets to the moon. Right. Why have we not been back to the fucking moon? Mm. Or maybe we have, but humans... I haven't heard about a human walking around on the moon. Have you? No. No. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, dude. It's fucking like 60 years later. Why would we have not gone back? Makes no sense. Doesn't make sense. Or not even that. We don't got to go to the moon. Go to the moon. 
Go somewhere else, though. Yeah, go what, walk. are we just all going to hang here forever? And go walk around on the fucking moon. I want to see it. We were supposed to have flying cars and space stations by now. What, I know. What, 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 where are we with that? That just shows you how dumb, though, people are, though. Because Yo, it was 1999, and we were like, yeah, in like three months, cars are going to fly, dudes. <laughs> in like 1998, we were like, yo, when <laughs> the millennium, like when the millennium hits. Oh, my God. Fucking 2003. Oh, my God. Cars are going to fly. <laughs> I like, had a school, no, they're not. I had a school project that that was one of the questions. Are and, cars gonna fly? And it was draw what you think the year two thousand is gonna be like. I had fucking <laughs> flying cars and tubes that take people yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Whoa, that's a good invention. Would you trust that though? Yeah. Like say like me like like me and you if walk I could be outside. Like a capsule. Yeah. Yeah, like not, they, not just like my. I'm not gonna raw dog it and like get my body in there. No, that's what it would be. Oh no! But can you just put put us in a capsule? Yeah, you you're put, creating right, this right, reality. All right, all right, you're encapsulated. All right, cool. So, like you know when they take like mail and they put in that thing and it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Hospitals, they do that too. I think so. Yeah, they still use that technology. Um, like, but it would be like a, a subway though. Okay. Like you would have to walk to a spot where it was. Yeah. And then enter in a destination. It would leave you like within a couple blocks of where you're supposed to be. Supposed to be, excuse me. I think it would be cool if it was just like, like Mar- Super Mario or <laughs> Mario. Do you say Mario or Mario? I say Super Mario. Yeah, everyone gets mad at me when I say Super Mario. I don't think that's something wrong with that. No, I mean it's whatever. I just I'm, I'm cool with it being. The only reason is because he goes Mario. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah. Um, but it would be cool if there were just like things open, and you should be like, oh yeah, I gotta head to the city. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. get in there and just whoa oh like in the Grinch the movie with Jim Carrey where he hits the thing and it's like dump it to crump it and yeah. it sucks you up the mountain that'd be cool I just think that I'd be scared I'd be a little scared but in a way like I feel like that'll be created at some point yeah I, I do too like I see that like if they figured out like the infrastructure for it they, like they could make that work I think the next sort of technology is the hover technology yeah like, I think not so necessarily too. flying cars but maybe like mass transportation that is like over highways so I could, it's not it yeah. doesn't affect the current traffic like would you pay extra to take like the hover lane like would you have to buy a hover car or you would get like on no, a no, hover no. bus it would be a bus oh, and you would just pay bus. like you know a fucking Whatever. bus fare, you know. That'd be fucking dope. Yeah, I think it it would it would be helpful. Yeah, because like if you could make a blimp, you could make a hover fucking car, right? Yo, blimps are fucking terrifying. I know. Can you even drive those? Yeah, there's pilots up there. Yeah, I know, but like, what's in the blimp? You couldn't pay me to go in a blimp, first of all. I would do anything else. Yeah. Would you do a hot air balloon? So I really got close to doing that. Don't do it. No, I'm not. Don't do it. No, I'm not. I'll tell you why. Don't do it, dude. Because me and my friend uh, Eddie Resigno, I don't know why I just said his full name, but me and my friend Eddie, <laughs> uh, we were really talking about going to Colorado and getting in a hot air balloon over the Rocky Mountains because we thought it would be like beautiful or whatever. Of course. Know? I mean, it definitely would. It would. Uh, and then I did I did a little you know, deeper dive into hot air balloons, and um, you can't steer them. No. They just float. Yeah. It's just a dude going. It's like you can, but the, the, the hot air. Just goes up. It just, yes. It makes it rise. So, especially near a mountain, if you can't steer and there's like a, you know, fucking crosswind here. Yeah, yeah. Could be dumping into the Rocky Mountains. I'm all good on, on hot air balloons. I'll go watch some. Yeah, I'll go watch a hot air I balloon. I wish I could get in one, but I really care about if I live or die. It would be one of those things where I would have to sit down in the basket. No, I would stand up. No, I there's would be no so... way I could look over. Yeah, the, yo, that's scary. What was I even thinking? I know, you're nuts. I'm, I don't know why I even considered that. I but mean, yo, you know what's funny? Because when that was happening, right? And I was like, yo, I'm, I'm down to do it. I was just at a time where I was like, you know, I'm spending much, too much time in Queens. And like, I'm not really even going into Manhattan, not doing anything with my life. I'm going to go explore some shit. So I went turbo. I'm like, yo, hot air balloon, rocky fucking mountains. What happens? Two days later on the news, hot air balloon accident, five people die. Shut up. Swear to God. And I was like, not doing that shit. 
Swear to God, two days later. That's a lot of people it wasn't, for a hot it, air balloon, isn't it? It wasn't. I made that number up, but it was like people died. Oh, I was died. about to say. I was like, five people? No wonder. No, the baskets are pretty legit. I think it's you and two other people. It's like the dude with the... <laughs> I don't know what that thing's called. It's the dude with the... Parsh. The dude with the... Parsh. Yeah. And then, uh, and then like you and like whoever you want to go up there. I don't know. I could never do it. Another thing, yeah, too. I'm not, I'm not let it. me ask you this. Oh, no. You know how you could go on bus tours in New York City? Yeah. Would you do a scuba tour where it's a submarine tour? What are you fucking nuts? Not one part of me is doing that. What am I going to go see? See what? Unless I'm seeing mermaids with giant boobies. Yeah. Nah. I'm not doing that. Have you ever seen that fucking place in Atlantis or whatever, the resort? It's a, it's a restaurant that's underwater. I do that. And it's all glass. Yeah. And you're eating dinner underwater and fucking fish are just fucking swimming That's by. That's fire. You me. would do that? Yeah. I'd be terrified. Nah, I'm not getting in a fucking submarine though. Like the red, like fucking, what's his name? Sean Connery in that movie. Red October? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Things are beeping. Red lights are going off. You're like, are we getting shot? I'm no. not doing that. Like I, like, I wouldn't pay to go on a submarine tour. Where we'd just be like, hey, we're just going to be like fully underwater for like 45 minutes. No, thanks. I bet you guys are. Yeah. Not this fucking guy. I'll hang up top. Yeah. Yeah. Water scares me. High things scare me. <laughs> space. Space scare. Yo, space scares the shit out of me. Anything that isn't right here. Yeah. I'm, I'm good with, yeah. you know? The highest I'll go in my life, besides being in a plane, is like the Empire State Building, like, dick or if, whatever. If somebody paid you, let's say, five grand. Yeah. To go in a hot air balloon, you'd do it. Where? Like for a video. Like if, if like somebody like sponsored you, like, hey, we want you to go up and do a video in a hot air balloon. I would do it if it was like in fucking like... New Jersey or something? The most flattest of lands. <laughs> like in the desert, something like Vegas? Yeah, something like that, yeah. right? Where it's like so flat, there's nothing that we could hit, right? And I would do it. So like you just like shh, yeah. go up, kind of float around, move around a little bit, but there's no trees... I don't want trees. I don't want trees. I don't want mountains or trees. I, I honestly would... <laughs> or seas. This defeats the purpose of a hot air balloon because I don't want to see anything. Yeah. I yeah. want there to be a floor. We can go high, but I don't want to see anything. No seas, no trees. No seas and no trees. No, not into either of those. No. No fucking way, dude. No seas, But tees, you've been trees. in a helicopter before. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking about that. I either. could never get in a helicopter. <sighs> I mean, it's not after that one crash in the East River. Fuck that, dude. That was like after I did mine, and I was like, "Well, they it was the same company, I think." No, it wasn't. It, it was, was a, a different private. Thing. Yeah, because the one I did was the doors were closed, and you just did like a helicopter tour around. Oh the yeah, city. they could like this one. Thing. They had the doors open, and they're strapped in, so they could like hang their feet out, and like it's a really cool thing. And the reason why they ended up dying was because they hit the water, and then they're strapped in, so they couldn't get out. Fuck. Yeah, fuck all of that. My fucking leg is shaking. I know, that, but like, I, I'm I'm more afraid of a helicopter than I am an actual airplane. Um, mm, yeah, that you, yeah, you should be. Yeah, I right? think there's way Helicop less. Well, helicopters got to be way more dangerous. Yeah, I think. so. Also, don't understand how it works. I don't know what's going on there either. Ski and we just take off. And then you just go down? Dude, first of all. And it goes like this. How the fuck do you fly that thing? That was the scariest thing ever. Lifting off. No, no, no. So you get in the helicopter. You and can't you, hear shit too, right? Well, no. Well, you you have like a radio. So you can hear the, the person who's with you and, and like the pilots or whoever. I think there was only one pilot though. And there's like music that you could play. Wait a minute. You have a radio? So it's like. What's going on, girl? No, it's like a, a little radio. Okay. That you can hear. Like Frank Sinatra was playing. Like, That's life. That's <laughs> life. That's what all the people <laughs> say. You're riding high in April. Shot down, shot down in May. May. But I know I'm going to change that tune. When I'm back on top. Back, back on, on top, top in June. I said that's life. That's life. And I can't deny it. Many times. All right. Anyway. And yeah, yeah. But uh. Uh. So anyway. Yeah. We we get in the helicopter. The shit takes off like a little bit. Like now we're hovering. Yeah. And like that's cool. But then in order to move in a forward direction, the fucking thing has to tip forward. Yeah, it's scary. Right. So and and we were taking off from the piers in Manhattan. So the East River is right there. So 
I'm looking out the front window. Yeah. And I'm looking at water. Yeah. So now I'm holding my breath because the thing tilts forward. I'm like, we're going. Okay. Because the thing, it looks like it's going into the water. And you see the guy. He's just like. Yeah. He's got his both hands on the. (laughs) I got it. It's fine (laughs) to me, but I got it. It's no scary, dude. Way. Yo, and also, like, when you get up there, it's a weird-ass feeling. Because the thing, like, hovers. Right? Yeah, there's, like, a hover mode. If it levels out, it right. can just go... Right. Because you see, like, helicopters in the sky when they're filming, like, traffic or whatever. They just stay there. Yeah. It's the weirdest feeling. What did it sound like, really? Like, when you're up there? I... I Do you hear, like, the... Very lightly, because you have these big-ass things that are on your ears. Okay. You know, because I assume it's loud as shithole. Yeah. But See, I, I would be afraid of that. Well, yeah, it's scary. Dude. How much is that? How much does that run you? Uh, that was a lot. Because I, if you well, don't mind me asking, I paid for a private one too. It was like nine hundred dollars. Whoa, yeah. yeah. How long were you up there? Uh, f- 35, 40 minutes. Way too long. Yeah, that's a scared, long dude. time to be afraid. I will say that's I'm, the most you've ever paid to be afraid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say it. I'm not gonna say it was worth the money. I would have done it. It's way less. Like, it's maybe like $300 to just go with, like, other people in, in the thing. Yeah. Um, but I did private because I'm, that, I'm bougie. Yeah. 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 Um, but I... <laughs> so... But it was a cool experience to see the city from that Hell yeah. vantage point. Absolutely. You, know? you always see it in, in, like, shows or whatever when, they, when it's in New York City and, like, they'll show, like, that wide shot of New York. Yeah. It was just cool to see that. But I'm not doing that again. No. You know? See, like, uh, like does that make us, like... Bitches, yes. It does, right? I think so. Like, if we're like... I just hate people to be like, yo, I'll skydive. Like, no way. My brother's getting married. He goes, oh, yo, I figured out what I'm doing at my bachelor party. In my head, I'm like, all right, how many strippers? Right. He's like, we're going to go skydiving. I was like, you enjoy your bachelor party. Because <laughs> I'm not fucking doing that. No, man, I'm not. I'm not. And like, if you came to me and you were like, yo, pay for video, Santa Gata Studios... Also a great channel on YouTube, cheap plug. Um, but you got to jump out of a plane. I'd be like, where would I put my two weeks in? <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that, bro. If, yeah, if you were like, yo, your job depends on it, I'd be like, I'm packing up my stuff today. Would you do the indoor skydiving thing? Yeah, I would do that. I would do that for yo, a video. So, I feel safer there because at least you fall. Like, you could get they hurt. They could cut the fan off. They could cut the fan off. Yo, but I will say you can't cut the gravity off. I did the, <laughs> I did the indoor uh, skydiving thing also. Uh, Yonkers, right? You yeah. went, to, you went to Ridge Hill. Yeah, it was like uh, sci fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, fucking, I there see was that, an like... old older person. I can't remember if it was a man or a woman that were in our group, and this, this bitch banged off the wall. Did she really? <laughs> yeah, man. And it's like a hockey wall. So you wear a helmet. Yeah. Or just goggles. I don't know if you wear a helmet, but you do wear something to hold like your hair and everything. Okay. Like you wear goggles, you wear a suit. Do, you know? Is there like a weight requirement? Can I be a thick daddy and still get up there? No, yeah, probably. They got they got they gotta bring the turbo fan. <laughs> probably crank that fucking fan up. Yo, the fan is fast as shit. But here's the thing, right? What do you got? Two thirty? Alright, bring the turbo fan. That actually <laughs> You start walking in, you're like Feel like a super saiyan fucking going up there. <laughs> the woman behind the counter. Up. The woman behind the counter is like, "Uh, oh, f- uh, can we turn the? Uh, can we get more fans?" Julio, start throwing the X up. A- We're gonna XL fan. Get a medic on site. <laughs> you never know. I would love that though. I would do that. Yeah, that was cool. But Could, can is- you breathe in there? Uh, yes, but it's like, here's what I compare it to: driving on the highway, mm-hmm. eighty miles an hour. Okay. And have your head out the window. So as much as you can breathe doing that. It's kind of hard. It's not. It's like. I, th- I would like turn my head sideways. <laughs> like a swimmer? Yes. But that's the thing. Any little motion you make, you just fucking spin. But there's a guy in there who's helping you around. And oh. they're fucking good. Yeah. They're fucking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Oh my God. God damn it. Yeah, they're they're good though. But they, they help you out. They fucking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh yeah that was a cool experience that's fire but yo it's hard because you have to stay so stiff i was like tired at the end of it i did a one minute like thing you know what i mean i did like a one minute uh hold or whatever like a like a like a flight plank yeah and then like by the time you're done because usually you do a 30 second you do a minute so it's like fuck i'm gonna i'm gonna a minute you know what i mean so but i I didn't hear one word you just said 
So I sound like Waluigi for yeah. a second. <laughs> Waluigi. Yeah, but I, I had to fucking, uh, I had to like flex my body. So by the time I got out, I was like, Whew. oh, so you're fighting the air, basically. Wow. But I also don't know how to skydive correctly, yeah. so I probably like you know. But they, but I was like, it's tough, bro. I'm good on. And that. then, and then you know what they do? They at the end, at the end, they bring you up and down this like thing. I don't know how tall it is, but it seemed like it was miles in the sky. Uh, but it's not. It's maybe like forty feet. Is it like that scene in Willy Wonka where like they yes. drink, they drink that stuff? It's the exact. You got a burp, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> you know that guy. Yeah. Um, Charlie's grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they bring you all the way up. They like take your body and they hold onto your arm and your leg and they just spin and jump and bring you all the way up to the top. Yeah. And bring you down and then all the way to it's fucking crazy. Yeah, maybe I'll try it. Uh, that, that seems safe. The only thing is, like, your arms get tired. You can't just give up and, and just be like, oh, one second. Because then you just fucking bounce all over that thing. I would have to, like, look up videos about it. Then I, then I would try it, though. I would, like, it, it would be something that would please me. It would please you? Yeah. To, to know that I did it. Yeah. You know what else is pleasing, guys? What else? Having a brand new mattress from Casper. Casper mattresses. That is the sponsor we have for today. Um, which, by the way, I do have a Casper mattress. Well, I'm actually in the market because my dog pee peed on it. <laughs> your dog pissed on your mattress. <laughs> we'll get into that story after. <laughs> Forgot tell, about that. I'll tell that story. Uh, Danny's in the market for for a uh, for a mattress, so you might as well get a Casper mattress. There's a lot of talking points that we have here, but at the end of the day, this thing is comfortable. Yeah. All right. I don't know what it's made out of. You know, it probably says it here, but I don't know. And if I said the word, you probably wouldn't know either. Here's what I do know. It's comfortable. It's comfortable. And it kind of forms to my body, but not too much that makes me like sink in, but like good enough that makes me sleep really well. Holds you just right. Holds me just right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And the cool thing about their mattresses, it comes in like a box. Yeah. So it's not like you got to like, you know, like the Grinch was carrying trees in the movie. You don't have to do that with the mattress. It comes in a box, shows up to your house. Bring that thing into your room, pop it open, and you're like, this is my mattress in here. You pull it out, you open the plastic, boom! Speaking of, we were talking about amazing technology. Yeah. That's amazing technology. That's what I'm saying. You stuff a mattress into a box. Yeah. And, I mean, obviously the box isn't like this big, but it's like, you know, it's a big box. You you put a mattress in a box, I'm going to be impressed. Yeah. I I don't care. Exactly. That's magic. It's magic to To me, me. too. Yeah. You bring it into your room, you open it, pops open, boom, bed. You got a bed now. Yeah. All right? Casper Mattress, guys. It's the great. 20,000 reviews with an average of 4.8 stars across Casper, Amazon, and Google. It's the internet's favorite mattress. All right? If you're in the market for a mattress, don't be stupid. Yeah. That's what I'm going to say. Get a Casper mattress. Also, Casper, great movie. Great movie. (laughs) Except for when he dies. I always forget a kid dies. Jesus. The kid dies. Giving it away for everybody, all right? (laughs) Sorry. Uh, they got affordable prices because Casper cuts out the middleman and sells directly to you. Hassle-free returns if you're not completely completely satisfied. Uh, delivered right to your door in a small. How do they do that sized box? Basically what we just said. Okay. Magic. Um, you can be sure of your purchase with Casper's 100-night risk-free sleep-on-it trial. Wait a minute. You're telling me I could sleep on a bed for 100 nights, and if I don't like it, it's risk-free? It's a, it's a risk-free sleep-on-it trial. Wow. You like that? I love not having to take a risk. <laughs> I know you like that, sir. Um, but yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I'm a little sick. It's that's what's going on. Um, right now, you can get fifty dollars toward, <laughs> towards towards uh, select mattresses by visiting Casper.com/basement and the promo code basement at checkout. That is Casper, spelled C-A-S-P-E-R dot com slash basement. And use the promo code BASEMENT. That is $50 towards select mattresses. Okay?
on. You gotta know? please him. Um, yeah. Check out Robin Hood. It's a good place to start. I have to write that down. Basement.robinhood? Basement.robinhood.com for free stock in Apple, Ford, or Sprint, something like that to help your portfolio, okay? That's a huge help. You never know what those what those things can do. I'm writing it down right now. Exactly. Write it down. All right. So those are our uh, sponsors for today. We appreciate our sponsors on the, on the basement yard. Oh. I just dropped my laptop. It's probably broken. People don't like the way you grab your laptop. Yeah, I know. Speaking of grabbing things, this is that was a weird transition, but like this, this <laughs> literally just popped into my head. Someone DM'd me a picture because I forgot who it was. It was either you or Frankie or me. <laughs> We're the only three that are dumb enough to say something like this. But we talked about like fighting a bald eagle or something. So this this girl DM me a picture of of a guy's fist and a bald eagle's hand over it, dude. Those things got hands. They got their talons are just not just just fucking like a just a big thing. Just a pocket, like of, a nail. Yeah, that could just pick up a child's face, like scoop down and just grab your child by the face and just take it to its nest and the, feed it to its young. I was trying to tell you guys, most animals could fuck you up. I did not. I don't think it was me who challenged the bald eagle. Those things, it, dude. Yeah, but like even like listen, like a rabid. Oh, Rab- you're gonna say a rabbit? I'm like, dude, I'll no, 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 fuck no. I'll rabbit. fuck a rabbit up. Yeah. I'll fuck his. I'll, I'll I probably fuck can. A They're so up. cute. I know. Hop into me. But like a rabid raccoon. Oh no! Like they can fuck you up. They're quicker than me. Yeah. I'm scared of squirrels. Because they're fast. I, see, I knew that. I yeah, that. I think I've said that before. Because they're quick and like raccoons if are just want like giant squirrels. Yeah. And that if, are scarier. If they wanted, they could fuck us up. I don't want to fight anything that has... No. If a rabbit had rabies, I don't want to fight it. Have you ever been attacked by an animal before? Uh, a dog. You got attacked by a dog? I got yeah. bit by a dog in my fucking face. I show you that scar. You can't see it on here, but it's above my... I'll show you. You see this one? If I go like that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one? A dog bit my face. I had a dog bite my hand. Yep, you, me you too. You see this? See that? And here? Yep. That's from a dog. Because I'm the type of person that I see a dog in the street... And I just like, I have to, oh my, what's his name? Yeah. And I'm too like overly into this dog sometimes. So it weirds people out. You don't do like the fist first? No. Let him smell the fist. You're like, no, bite I, my fingers. I, I go hands low and then I grab its face and then I try to like make it, I rub its ears and like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Love me. Love me, please. <laughs> Leaving my scent on you. Remember me later. Um, But what the fuck was I talking about? You were talking about how you got bit by an animal. Yeah, so like there was a dog like close to my mom's house. It's like a block away. Yeah. And I was walking to the park and it came up. It was like a little white fucking dog. Like a little... Yeah. You know what I mean? It wasn't little, a big dog. A little yapper. So he sh- he comes up on the wall and he's barking at me. So I go, oh, it's okay. And I go like this. And he just grabs onto my fucking hand and just goes... Argh! And like wiggles... Like a fucking shark would. How old are you? Uh, like 17. Damn, this was later in life. I thought this yeah. was going to be like you were seven, like hanging out, like just walking through the park. No, no, no. This dog bit my hand and like shook my hand and I pulled it out of its mouth and then my hand was like bleeding. And it was an old woman. She was like this old like Greek woman. And I was like, your dog. Well, you touch my dog. But she was like, Ugh. She didn't say a word. She just kind of like grunted like, hey, the dog, the dog it, it, it bite, I it, know. It bite you. I don't know it bite. You do. You grab. <laughs> you I was come, like, you come to dog, he bite. Yeah, he, you grab, he bite. <laughs> and I was like, all right. And I just, you know, I just put water on it and walked away. But it wasn't anything serious. But when I was younger, uh, I was walking into a deli and it was a big dog chained up to this th- thing, like right when you walk in. And it, jumped it leaped broke the chain and like put its paws right here and knocked me on the ground but it wasn't attacking me it right. just wanted to like whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. and knocked me on the ground and my mom was so scared it's that could be like, that could be traumatized like, i'm surprised dude, you, don't I'm, eat my face i'm surprised you love dogs as much as you do oh my god i wish dogs would do that to me yeah. now i wish there was a dog i knew a dog big enough to knock me on my ass yeah you know, i have a weird dream of like like you know like those guys that like train the dogs with the with the arm thing? Yeah, I want to do. <sighs> I, I want to do that. No, I don't. 
You don't? I don't. I don't like saying vicious dogs. They're, go, they're hey. not vicious. They're just being trained. I know to be vicious. No, they yes. can be very loving. You never seen videos of dogs that like bite criminals' faces? Yeah, but they're, but cool. they're trained to do that on command. I'm aware, but I'm saying that's a little harsh. I would I would want to see like feel how powerful the bite was like safely. <sighs> also, my dream would be to have like a farm of dogs. Yeah, that would be fucking dope. I want to have like. I got mad dreams. Like dog. five <laughs> I got mad dreams. I'm telling you, yo. I got dreams out the ass. You got dreams out the ass. Hell yeah. You dream out your ass. Yeah. You gotta dream out your ass, baby. You got dream out of your ass. <laughs> That's kinda <baby>. inspirational. <laughs> I got dreams out the ass, dog. Yeah, but it's like you gotta switch it up so it's inspirational. You like you like tell the kids like, listen, you know what you gotta do? You just gotta dream out your ass. <laughs> Imagine going and speaking to children and just being like, listen, guys. Career day? It's like, how you doing? Uh, my name's Joe. I do a podcast. And uh, kids, listen. You just got to dream out your ass. <laughs> you got dreams? Funnel them through your ass. <laughs> all dreams start in your ass. All right? <laughs> I'm just behind you. It's like, dream out the ass, kids. They're like, who's that guy? Listen, <laughs> don't worry about that. I'm talking about your assholes, all right? All right. You need dreams to shoot out of them. That's where they manifest. <laughs> Dream out your ass. Oh I don't know why God. I said that, but I don't know. I'm running with it. Dream out the ass. Dream dream out of your ass. Yeah. Oh, my God. That is great. But, like, imagine. That's like, going right on a shirt. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> Dream out your ass. Oh, God. That's funny. Would you, no. Should it be? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got I got dreams out the ass. So you dream out the ass. Yeah, dream out your ass. Having dreams out of your ass is one thing. <laughs> like that's like an expression. Like, oh, I got I got money out the ass. You know? Yeah. But but <laughs> I got dreams out the ass. You have dreams out the ass, but like I I <laughs> actively dream out of my ass. I actively do that, like as a verb. Imagine if your brain was located in your ass. <laughs> that's so weird, though. Like the human body, where everything is like located perfectly. I feel like. Yo, you just gave me the fucking most weird look what, ever. Was it weird? Your face just got like oddly Asian from like the uh, from the eye, like your eyebrows. He, like yeah. it was weird. It morphed. Well, I do I, that again. I am point two percent Japanese, so ancestry.com. Did you actually do that? No, my mom did it, and she's like point two, so I'm maybe like point one Japanese. Nice. It didn't. It didn't. Help. Yes, I don't want to be offensive. No, you are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no, but. Uh, <laughs> Oh man! No, but just I'm so glad we're not Logan Paul's podcast. I know you, you would have got yeah. written up for that one. Trust yeah, absolutely. Me. You would have served some detention. No, but like, think about where your heart is located. <laughs> yeah, right here. Imagine if it was in your ass. Why are you throwing everything in our ass? No, I'm just saying. Like, I feel like that's why the human body is so amazing. Everything is where it's supposed to be perfectly. <laughs> yeah, but do you know anything that's not? Yeah, there's things that have brains in other parts of their body, like yeah. cr like crabs and shit. Where's the crab? Where's Wait, the does cra it? <laughs> <laughs> Polly, get that crab here so I can show its brain. <laughs> Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> Jamie, pull that up. Can you pull a fucking crab? Fucking Rogan. Uh, Jamie, go get the crab. Fucking Jamie's amazing. That yeah, whoever, whoever that is. Not this one, Jamie. The other one. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Put some audio on that bitch. Oh, my God. No. Yeah, you know like octo octopuses? Octopi? Octopuses? Octopus. Octopus? Octopus. I think they're like moose. Or like fish. It's like fish or just fish. It's not fishes. It's just fish. Wait a second. Yeah, it's not fishes. Yeah, there's a lot of fish out here. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's... <laughs> I love... Uh, uh... I love how that's how you test it. It's like, wait, hold on. There's a lot of fish out here. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> I, that's the only way. Like, I need, yeah. to, I need to put them in like oh sentence form or not. <laughs> moose could definitely be me, though. Let's be, let's be honest. Because there, yeah. there's goose and there's geese and there's geese. Yes. Why can't moose be meese? I'm all for it. You know, I saw some meese when I was in Denver. Huge. Yeah. Big fuckers. Meese are huge. Fuck you up. Yeah. What do you think is the smallest animal that could fuck you up? Oh. Squirrels. Yeah, squirrels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Birds? Uh, yeah, a, bird could, bird. a bird could fuck you up, yo. Gouge my eyes out. Fuck yeah. Then... An owl could fuck your shit. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 
Yo, did you ever fucking dissect owl pellets? Yo, it's- here's the thing, bro. <laughs> Now you just said that, I'm I'm tight. I'm pissed. <laughs> that I said an owl can fuck you up? No, I'm not mad at the owl comment because an owl fucked me up. Yeah. But I will say, the reason why I got mad is because you said, did you ever dissect an owl or whatever the fuck? No, 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 no. I don't, no, I don't no. think anyone's ever dissected an owl. Owl pellets. Poop? Yeah, because they don't shit out their ass. They regurgitate it. They poop out their mouths? They poop out of their mouths. <laughs> Wait, owls poop out of their mouths? Yeah. They eat mice and, and they... Puke it up. I gotta see this. Yeah, man. They don't shit like that. And then we, we you could di- we used to dissect them in school. You never dissected owl shit. I'm gonna <laughs> first right. video on YouTube, YouTube is owl taking a shit. Owl poops and flees the scene. I gotta see it poop though. Oh no, this owl pooped out of its ass. No, the, no, no, no. Look at no, this. No. Look at this. That's pooping. Watch, 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 watch him. <laughs> watch, watch, watch. Oh, he stamp. Oh yeah, he shit out his ass. Yeah. He but why do they regurgitate ass. their food? You can't just come on look here up, look up, and just say look wild it up. shit. Look it like up. Like owls shitting out look of their mouths. Look up mouth. owl pellets. They shit it out of their face. They shit a pellet out of their face, and you can dissect it, and it has little bones in it. We did it in school. So maybe it's like a throw up thing. Maybe they're like half bulimic. They like poop, but also throw it's up. It's an owl poop pellet. All right. The reason why I got mad originally was because I'm listening. I'm listening. Yeah, you better be listening I'm and listening. look up your fucking facts. You can't just come on here and say things like owls shit out of their mouths and not expect me to be blown away by stuff <laughs> like that. Because now people are out there thinking that owls are shitting out of their mouths. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You found it that quickly. Yes. Would you have it on fucking? Ever? It's ever wonder what owl pellets are. Mm-hmm. Okay. All yes. right. Yes. Which of the following best describes owl pellets? A, owl vomit. You just pick one. B, owl poop. C, small pieces of chocolate shaped like owl eyes. D, fossilized owl bones. The correct answer is A. It's owl vomit. So they are half bulimic. Fuck! So they don't shit out of their mouths. They don't shit out of their mouths. The most famous owl in the world, Hedwig. Hold up. There's the most famous a- owl in the world? Yeah, bro. He was fucking Harry Potter's owl, you dumb bitch. No, 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 no. Like the actor owl? Hedwig. That's the act. That's the name of the actual owl. In the movie. No, no, no. But what's his acting name? I'm sure it's the same. Why not just give this fucking owl the name? Whoa, whoa, whoa. When they use fucking mo- animals in movies, they have real names. No. Not, Air Bud wasn't just Air Bud. They made 400 of those movies. But They're he was a dog. Buds. This is a fucking owl. Dogs respond to their names. No one has owls in their house like fucking parakeets. You'd be surprised. I would be surprised. There's probably little hicks in the fucking woods. That That's what I'm saying. Owls. The most famous owl in the world, Hedwig, the snowy owl that Hagrid gave Harry Potter. Although the owls in J.K. Rowling's books are trusted companions, they are known for delivering mail. Yes, yeah. I sent him an owl. I get it. Yes. Owls like hawks, falcons, and eagles are birds of prey. That means they feed on insects, fish, small mammals, and even other birds. Damn, they eat other birds? Yeah, dude. Cannibals? Yeah, it's fucking weird. That's wild. An owl has two stomachs. The first one, called the glandular stomach... <laughs> Psych. Uh, ...produces acids, chemicals, and music that... Uh, music. <laughs> you ain't nothing but an owl, no. <laughs> you ain't nothing but an owl, no. No, the uh, mucus is what I meant to say. That helps separate the digestible and indigestible parts of its prey. The second stomach, called the gizzard, is very muscular and grinds up the meat part of the meal. My gizzard. <laughs> Once the meat is, has been broken down, the, uh, the digestible the digestible materials move into the owl's intestines. The bones, fur, feathers, and scales remain in the gizzard. That's why. Okay. So, they, so they, th- they have two stomachs. So they have a poop stomach they don't have and a, a shoot stomach. Yeah, but they don't, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, they do. They you wanted a, to shoot me down so fast. No, they have a poop and a shoot. Yeah. They have a poop and a shoot. But it's not poop. It's throw up. Yeah, it's a shoot. It's a shoot. 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 What are you doing? I was. I can't do the shoot. Oh. But yo, back to what I was saying before. The reason why I got upset when you brought that up is because, look at me. What 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 do you see when you look at me? Just a feminine man. Yeah. Right. <laughs> a feminine. <laughs> You know how hard it is for me to say that word? Say fe- say feminine three times fast. I can't even say it once. Feminine, feminine, feminine. Feminine. Oh, I got it. Damn. So I, so uh, you see a guy, right? Just a, just a run-of-the-mill white guy. Yeah. When I was a child, I was just a run-of-the-mill white boy. Yeah. You know? 
living in a neighborhood that's not terrible. Yeah. And I would I went to numerous schools and I went to a Catholic high school. And not once did I get to dissect anything. Nothing? Nothing. Dude, I got to dissect a pig, a frog. Nothing. An owl vomit. I didn't I didn't dissect a thing. Wow. Bullshit. I never had wood shop class. I never built like a a lamp. You never had that? No. Damn. Did you have did you have home and careers? Where it's like where you like learn to sew a bag? You guys were sewing too? Yeah, we sewed that we sewed up there. No. Yeah, man. When? What age is this? Seventh grade. Seventh grade? Yeah, it was called home and careers. You learned how to cook. Everyone cooked a pancake in the class. You cooked pancakes? Yes, it was part of my learning. I learned how to make a pancake and I learned how to sew a bag. And I, I didn't learn any of this uh, shit. I don't have the bag anymore. I used to have it. They used to, but when you think about it, cutting, because like frogs is like the most popular one, I'm assuming, because that's yeah. what I see in movies. Yeah. Having seventh grader cut up a frog is a little, a little Jeffrey Dahmer, if you ask me. Dude, we had pigs, dude. Full on pigs? Baby pigs. And you'd have to, you'd have to dexter those things? Yeah, cut, cut, <gasps> cut, cut them down the middle, open their brains, open their skulls and shit. Shit was fucked up. You see a, a pig penis? Yeah. What does it look like? It's not great. I don't know. They I were didn't... small, though. Like, Why'd you say were? Like, like the grown... actual pig was small. Oh. It's like his dick like wasn't impressive. Wasn't, wasn't sick? No, 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 no. Um, I, w- I would remember that. Yeah. Uh, Any impressive dick I come up- across, I remember. Right. You were saying? Uh, I haven't I haven't cut anything up. Frog, pig. Would you, po- do, would you do that now? Is that allowed? Yeah, you could probably go somewhere to like dissect something. Do we have to go somewhere? You could probably I don't get a, think see, you could I probably was, get a sense of your house, but I would need professional assistance on what I'm doing. Yeah, we can't just start hacking away at yeah, this thing. I don't want to do it crudely. But yeah. I would love to dissect an animal. Yeah, I don't know. For science. Dude, how was that a thing? Like the, what do they we just ship dead frogs to schools? By yeah. the hundreds? Yeah. That's yeah. a weird shipment to get. I know. I know. Frogs came in. What door does that come in through? The cafeteria? Because I don't want that touching my food. Let me tell you something. Whoever started that business was dreaming out of their ass. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Dreams out of their ass. I'm in the dissectable frog business. Oh, man. What do you do with the dead frogs? Oh, you make the kids cut them up. Yeah. <laughs> and then you wonder why they uh, end up killing people. And then where do you put them? You just discard them. Yeah, I don't assume you fucking... No, because what it taxidermy is taxidermy class, what, what, and then you bring them home. The 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 bio class that I was in is that you look, you open it, you have like a a, a graph of the actual. Do you like an frog. autopsy? Like how oh, this one had trauma? Yeah, ba- kind of. Oh, I was gonna say. Kind of, but like what it is is like you see, you don't look for like the cause of death, but you look for the certain things inside the frog that are on the paper, mm-hmm. and you kind of like we kind of had to like put them. This is kind of fucked up. We had to like, yeah. We had to like match them like with the picture, which was very, 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 very strange. Now that I think about it, I'm thinking. I'm like, yeah. Like, you shouldn't. You shouldn't be cutting up no, animals. No. Because you know, I wonder we, if they still do that. Probably not. I've never even heard of anyone. I don't know anyone who has. Like my friends haven't cut up animals. Listen, it, they've it, had wood shop, but not dissecting animals. Yeah. You know, maybe you had too big of a school to do it. Maybe. Yeah. My middle school didn't get like a whole lot of funding. So I just, that's probably why we never, like, I'm assuming to buy a, a bunch of frogs would be a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, how much are the, what's in, what's the dead frog market? I don't know. I don't know. It's either we could put like a door to the school or get frogs. <laughs> You're right. You know? Security guards or dead frogs. Yeah. But, yeah. You had security guards in middle school? Yeah. Damn. We had like six. Wow. Yeah. There was like metal detectors like my last year there too. Sounds Good time. Like, sounds like a great school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a lot of fun to go there though. It was. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about real quick before we before we end here. Uh, the other day, I saw um, some dude on the street just taking a picture of himself. And then I'm like, I started to think about the times that I've done that out on the street. And I'm like, man, I really hope someone hasn't seen me do that. Oh, you definitely. I've seen you do it. You've seen me do that? Yeah. 
And there's like this look you put on, like you put on like a like a blue steel. You put on like your own little Zoolander look. Oh, I you, regret bringing this up. Yeah, and then uh, I've seen you do it. You seen me do it? When? I don't think I have. I take, I, I take pictures in your fucking in your fucking yeah, bedroom all the time. I'm not around to see it. I yeah, come. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. not in there. Like I, I walk through the door and you're like, oh, oh hey, sorry. Oh, I didn't see you there. You ever like go to take a picture of yourself and then someone, uh, someone like walks in the room and you're just like, I can't see. No, no. <laughs> You know, my go-to is, is I yeah. act like I'm fixing my hair. Oh, you're like... Yeah. No, yeah, and I'll just be like this. So it, lo- it looks like I'm using it as a mirror. Yeah. Even that, pictures. though. Even that, though, it's not... I don't know. I just always feel weird, but this dude was just... No shame, just... Yeah, that's... Yeah. I feel like foreign people are like... They don't give a fuck. Oh, you're, fuck no. Well, they got the sticks and all that shit. Yeah, this is, yeah, <laughs> selfie sticks are intense. Like in Times Square, like if you're here visiting, it's like, I'm in New York, so I'm going to take pictures. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But like, which I, I get. No, I understand it completely too, but I mean, it's tough. You better man. get the fuck out of here with that stick, though. Oh, fuck that stick. Yeah. I hate selfie sticks. I hate them. It's like, take take it. Press the button. I hate them. It's like, what's this mandible claw? <laughs> <laughs> I hate selfie sticks, dude. So dumb. Um, yeah, no, I, I, it's definitely a weird thing to see somebody take a picture of themselves, but I, I, I've done it myself. I would want people to see me. It's almost like you feel, in, for some reason, you feel invisible when you do it. Like nobody could see you. It's like when you're in a car and you pick your nose. Like, why are you so comfortable picking your nose in the car? Oh, dude, I slam my nose in the car. That's what I'm saying. It's because you do it because you don't think anybody could see you. Yeah, probably. So when you take a selfie, you're so caught up in like your self centered world that you. <laughs> You're not even thinking about the people around you. You're like, oh, God, people need to see how I look right now. Yeah. Think about what, like, the psychology behind a selfie is. Like, what are you thinking in that moment? Like, I look good. I look amazing right now. I need, people need to know. Isn't that ridiculous? Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of ridiculous. Your caption game's like, it's pretty A1. Mine? Yeah, it's pretty good. What do I caption? Your selfie captions. What are they usually? Oh, because I, I, I I'm I'm in on it. I, I can go to the tape. I mean, but I can go to the tape. I, but they're they're pretty good. I like them. Oh yeah, the one I posted. They have, no, the, they have nothing to do with the gym. No no or no, like no life. No no no. It's the one. <laughs> the one I posted at the gym. I just I made it like guess who needs compliments. Yeah. See that's funny. But yeah. Like a, I'm in on it. I I know what's going on, man. I know how fucking stupid I look doing this. But you know. You have to do it. Sometimes you need a. Sometimes you need a. Hey, listen. You need a little pick me up from time to time. That's what I'm saying. You need people to be like, hey, you know what? You're doing a good job, there, bud. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like this one, 04. It just says 04. Yeah, I don't know what that was. That's just called. I I I feel hot. I feel (laughs) hot right now. I did feel hot. 04 means I feel hot. And look at the fucking lighting on this picture. Look at this fucking guy. Oh hell yeah. I don't know where I. You look, I was here then. You look nothing like that guy. No, right I don't now. look anything like that. No. <laughs> that guy is hot. Oh, 04. You fucking maniac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look nothing like this guy. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love God. it. I'm all I'm all about a great like selfie. Just Hey man. Hit me hit me with that. Hell yeah. Like hey. this one, you look super sexy. The caption is I miss Denver. Yeah, it's got the I got the Denver shirt on. But you got your thought you got your tricep popping here. Yeah, dude, I didn't have anything else to grab. At. I, I hear you. I hear you. Well, all I had was a logo on my chest. I said it's A one. I like your caption I'm game, just dude. Saying. All right. Listen, my dog pissed the bed. All right, this week you got. Yeah, I, you got I'm a little on edge. I'm a little on edge. You um, wake up to a bed full of piss. You go first. I checked my <laughs> penis. First, I checked my penis. Yeah. My penis wasn't wet. Yeah. Then I checked his penis. And it was wet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we wrap up here, I uh, just want to give a shout out to our uh, tier four patrons. Um, this is the fifty dollars tier. We just sent all these people uh, personalized uh, video messages uh, to their emails. That's one of the perks they get uh, in their thing. But um, good Kaylee, luck with these, <laughs> Kaylee uh, Z- Zalabowski. Zalabowski. That's my girl. Taylor Johnson, Nicole Derelou. Yep. That's a nice last name. Yeah, Derelou's a cool name. It sounds like a beautiful cake. Hell yeah. Uh, Libby Nuss, Joe Herrera. Joe Herrera. Hey, Joe! Hey, hey uh, Mr. Herrera. How you yeah. doing? Yeah. Karina Dennis, Zachary Horn or Horny. Not sure. 
Let's go with horny. Let's go with horny, obviously. For sure. Uh, Mike Petch. Uh, Mike Pence? Not Mike Pence. Oh, no, no, no. I was like, damn, we got a fucking weird-ass fucking patron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Drew Jenkins. Uh, Joseph Austin uh, Doyle. A three-namer. Yeah. Yo, having three names is very rich. Yeah. It's very rich. Yes. You know what I mean? Uh, Sandrine Andre. I'm fucking these up, dude. Fucking Sandri- these up. Sandrine and then there's, Andre. There's two with no last name. Just James and Lavinia. Ballers. Yeah. Just like, just no last name. Yeah, you just don't need my last out. name. Just take, crazy. This, take, just take this money and shut up. Just. To- <laughs> my name's James. Just take it. Why do you need to know my last name? Why do we have last names? Legal reasons. That's a good answer. It's also the right. yes. <laughs> it's also the, the right answer. I would I would even I would even say for sure. Um, a couple twenty five dollar patrons also they also get a hot air shout out at the end of uh, each episode. Eric Englehart, Bo Clor, Bo Bo Clor. I'm not touching that one. That is Jennifer Brown. Nice and easy. Nice. Thank Ma- you. thank you, Mrs. Brown. Michaela, <laughs> Shania, Cassidy, Benedict. <sighs> That's Swedish. Dorful. <laughs> It's got like the O with the two dots. Benny, Benny Dick. Um, this one I'm not getting. John, holy shit. <laughs> this is Joukowsky. <laughs> Fuck that way up, dude. We tried. D-Y-S-Z-C-Z-A-K-O-W-S-K-I. Yeah, this is Wolowski. Yeah, sorry. exactly. That's what I said. Catherine, uh, Catherine, Kayla Marie, Justin Allen, Mario Lucatero, John Castle. Just want to give a quick shout out to some of these people that are supporting the show Hell yeah. at the end of every episode because you guys are helping it run. So we just want to show you guys some love. And uh, yeah, that's it for this week's episode. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. Put my laptop on the back. Actually, no, I'm going to keep it right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it right here. Stop judging him. Yeah. All right? Had enough. You good? Yeah, I just want to make sure you're taken care of, man. All right, so, I mean, Danny, where can they find you? You can find me um, at Danny Lopriori on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, guys, you can go follow the show at The Basement Yard. Go follow me on social media at Joe Santagato. And our Patreon, again, is patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Patreon spelled P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash The Basement Yard. And uh, don't forget to dream out of your ass. Best dreams start in the ass. Funnel your dreams through your asshole kids hell yes dream out that ass we'll see you guys next time out the ass